Welcome back to our side of the mountain in Panama, where today, our little tiny home here that we've been living in for the last three years, we're ripping this whole thing apart. Literally. Oh, mom and dad. But to be honest, you guys, when we were just at the last little bit of the build of this workshop, I was pregnant. I was very, very pregnant. And we wanted to just have it be done. We didn't care really about what it looked like, the aesthetic, that was not priority. We just needed a house to live in with our baby girl on the way. So the plywood walls are all still raw. This is gonna change today. We're in such a weird spot right now because we're getting ready to start our dream home build, but the permits haven't come in yet. So the good news is we're living in a shed. Well, I don't know if that's good news. The good <laughs> news is we're living in a dilapidated shed. <laughs> The good news is that we live in a dilapidated shed and we have some time to make it halfway decent now. So that's what we're working on. <laughs> Walls and the floor. That is the goal of this video. That is the goal for our next few days. And that is the whole reason why we're gonna be ripping our whole living situation apart and being pretty uncomfortable for these next few days. Cause we want this. We're ready for this. We've been living in this dilapidated shack for way too long. You guys might not know this, but you're in the presence of Superwoman today. Kaylee was up all night with Sadie. She was like, hey, tonight, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's funny, because tomorrow we're gonna have to rip the whole workshop apart. Honey, I can't give up a day of painting. You know, I love painting. You're a badass. <laughs> Honestly though, honey, can you go make me a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Did you already have a coffee? I had a couple sips of yours, but I haven't, I haven't had like a full. You need the full action. experience? I need the full experience. What are you in the mood for, sweetie? Washed. You want some geisha wash? Yeah. There you go, my love. All right, you guys, paint in the living room is done. What do you guys think? Stop messing with all the people out there, honey. You've already done enough dilapidated stuff that they're gonna think that we're serious. I know. All right, so primer number one is on. I think it looks kind of sh poopy. But I think it's gonna be fine. It's just the primer. I'm a little nervous. We'll see. I feel like a real project manager today. We got the painters going in here. Well, Kaylee's our painter today. And then we got the floor production crew out here, which is Eberto and Enrique. They're sanding all the boards, painting it with sanding sealer again, sanding it again, getting this floor beautiful and perfect so we can start putting these boards down today. But it is very crucial that we first get these walls painted before we put the floor down. Because if you look, we have got kind of paint going everywhere. And this floor, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this floor is an absolute piece of crap. We put this down a little over a year ago and this floor is already all just torn to shreds. Don't put down PVC flooring. This is terrible. These are the decisions that either keep relationships and marriages together or rip them apart. <laughs> so when we did the bathroom, I went back and forth to the hardware store like four or five times changing the color. Yeah, but we didn't have like a, a breakdown in our relationship. That was pretty close. <laughs> That's not true. Just joking, you guys. All right, we're not that crazy. Don't have any like emotional reactions to this. Just look at the color and just take a minute, all right? My gosh, honey, are you kidding me? It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. We'll, we'll see. Do you want to keep the couch over there? What do you think? No. No. <laughs> you want it back over here? Alright, but we're building your ballerina studio. Why are you doing work? Yeah, but well, you're here watching us, and I love that you're here with us. Go ahead, honey. Let's see how it feels, see how it looks. Do you need a little more paint? Yeah. Can you do it like this? Yeah. I really like it. I really like the color. What'd you say? You, you, you're getting some bonus points, honey. Yeah. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock right now. As you guys know, we just got to the rainy season, and... It's raining. Uh, the rain's gonna come in earlier and earlier every single day. And it means we have to get up earlier and earlier. We didn't do a good job with that today. We got up kind of late. So good news is that we're working on the inside today. The bad news is our floor production is now shut down. So I just finished putting coat number three. Yeah, including the primer. I think we're actually gonna need a fourth coat of paint on this because you can still kind of see some of the streaks and we want it to look as good as possible. Also, this isn't how we're leaving it. We actually plan on putting some pieces of trim, like a board and batten kind of look on all of the seams and where all the little screws were. But it's just been so nice, like being able to paint these walls and not have any anxiety about spilling any on the floor because <laughs> this floor is covered, <laughs> but 
It's gonna be getting ripped up in the next few hours. This is a moment that I've waited so long for. And I'm finally ripping the stupid floor up. Look at how awful this looks. It's all like bowed and cracked and bent. I've had family and friends come over and been honestly like so embarrassed because it looks like a dilapidated floor. And for a little bit, we're gonna go back to plywood. What are you chewing on? What are you chewing on? It's chocolate or something? No, no, no. If, you got a, if you got a little, you know, a little goodie, I was gonna take a little bit. It's risotto. Do you want to bite a risotto? I do. <laughs> do you want me to feed it to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys must think we're so strange. Honey, this is one of the best days of my life, I think. Look at how terrible this is. in good enough shape to put some nice one inch thick boards on top. Is that how thick they are? A little bit more. Closer to one and a half. Yeah, baby. Take it all off? Yeah. We're only going to take off until here. Then tomorrow we're going to do the rest. It's after 10 o'clock and Sage is still wide awake. She usually falls asleep at like 7. I don't know if the shack reno is uh, stimulating her or something, but... Someone's not too happy about it. I've been ready for bed for like two hours, you guys. You've been ready for bed since you woke up. Oh, yeah, last night was a little rough. <laughs> wakey time, wakey time, wakey time. It's time to wake, time to wake. So it's sunny. <laughs> it's it's no, up it's up not. <laughs> no, it's not. Way past our bedtime. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. It's time, time to no. sleep. It's not time to sleep. Please? Please! <laughs> I'm begging you. Peggy, 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 Peg, Peggy. Peggy, You guys, it's a good thing that we have been used to having our home just be a construction zone because it's an absolute disaster in here. And it's probably gonna be like this maybe for the next 24 hours or so. I feel like before this kind of thing would give me so much anxiety, but just knowing what's on the horizon, knowing what's coming and knowing that this needs to be done in order to have a nice, beautiful, brand new floor just gives me that sense of peace. Three coats of sanding sealer, honey. Oh my god. Rub your hand on there. I wish you guys could feel this right now. Get the first piece, honey. I got you two flowers. Baby. But for me. For me. Oh, okay. But are you sharing with me? No. So this first piece, this is the most important piece that we're going to be putting in today because this is going to set the tone for how the whole floor is going to go. We're also going to have to take this door down and actually cut the bottom off, maybe like three quarters of an inch because these boards are so thick that this door is just not going to fit right now. I'm like so nervous because these are some fat tongue and lips and like I <laughs> have some serious hold doubt. Hold on, hold on. You can't just casually drop a tongue and lips in there like that. Why not? Know. That's what we said we were going to call <laughs> That's her now. <laughs> I genuinely am pretty nervous to see how these are going to kind of mesh together. Might just need a very, very large, what do they call them, honey? Mallet. Sweetie, I gotta be honest, so much of my anxiety with this floor installation is gone. Knowing that this is gonna work, Gives me so much, so much peace. We've only gotten one piece in. I know, but just like, like we know it's gonna work. Okay. Like we tongue and groove this ourselves. We we made all this wood ourselves, and it's going to work. We got sixty-eight more to go. <laughs> We're struggling. This is really tough. We've been spending an hour on just getting this one piece in. I freaking hate tongue and groove. Why? I actually had a thought. I'm like, why did we tongue and groove these? Like. Couldn't we have just like kept them just straight up no. and put them down? No. I mean, yeah, maybe they would have warped a little, a little more like rustic looking, but this is a pain in the butt. This piece 
has been the death of us today. We've been maybe an hour and a half on this one piece, but I think we learned something. One of you guys in the comments actually told us that there's a master, I forget his name, but he does tongue and groove. And his tip is that you actually router it on both sides. So you flip it once you do one side. So even if the router isn't like exactly, exactly, exactly in the center, if it's like a millimeter off or whatever, that you make it centered and it makes the pieces go in together so much easier. I mean, it's true. The piece is a little warped, but it's definitely true. I just slid right in. Shout out to you guys. We would be what, lost. What would we do without you? We'd be lost without you. The rainy season is tough. It makes for some of the hardest days. This isn't what I was planning on having done for the day. I was thinking we'd get a lot more done. I have to learn my lesson. I have to like change my schedule and change this one's schedule to get to bed at like nine, nine o'clock. So we can get up at five and just start crushing it outside. One plus side though of this week is because the kitchen is totally deconstructed, we've been getting takeout a lot this week. I have a problem. I drink too much coffee. It's a serious problem. I'll drink coffee at six o'clock at night, eight o'clock at night. Yeah, I was like this close to making myself a coffee at 5 p.m. I was a good girl today though. And you might be asking yourself, how do you not stay up all night? And I think there's two reasons. Number one, there's something wrong with my brain. But number two, I just drink one of these. I drink a bean. And this stuff, if I ever can't sleep, this stuff knocks me out and like, 30 minutes and I'm out like a light. So cheers to being able to overconsume coffee. But still be able to sleep at night. And have a little crutch to help us through any time we're having a hard time. We all know people out there that take sleeping medication every single night to fall asleep. Family, friends, and I've turned to all my family and friends that I know that were taking sleeping medication and said, hey, just try Beam. It works. And just give it a shot because there's no worse feeling than being reliant on a pharmaceutical drug to fall asleep every single night. Both Jordan and I have been drinking Beam for a little over two years now. And the best part is it's all natural. It has ingredients such as reishi, L-theanine, magnesium, melatonin, and CBD. It's hard for me not to have a pretty large dose of caffeine during the day. Not only because I love coffee, but also we have a coffee business. And tasting coffee all day long is part of what we do. I'm even wearing a coffee shirt right now, it's a bit of a problem. But Beam works so well that I've been up late at night working on coffee. I'll come back late at night, make myself a Beam. It's like a delicious hot chocolate. Actually, the one that we're having tonight is pumpkin spice flavored. They have a bunch of different flavors. And then I'll hop up in bed and I'll fall asleep and stay asleep. So if you guys are interested in trying out Beam and you wanna see for yourself how good this stuff works, you can actually click the link down below. Use the code NOMADIC, you will get 35% off your order. Grab yourself 35% off and give this a try if you have a hard time sleeping or if you just wanna get better sleep. No need for meditation, you just need yourself some Beam. <laughs> Check the link in the top of the description. Thank you so much Beam for sponsoring this video. Every single board that we router now, we're doing it twice. And that's been making such a difference. It's gone from taking an hour, over an hour to put one board in to 10 minutes. And running another pass with a router is just a couple minutes. So this is a huge upgrade. <laughs> this is Sadie's new favorite pastime. It's just booking it in the rain. No rain jacket, no boots. She's such a little farm girl. Even though she's not technically three yet, she's gonna be three in like two weeks. This has been by far the most magical age. She is just such her own little person now. She has such like a big, bold personality. I feel like we're in this period of time 
right now where she is just growing so much every single day the way that she communicates and every day is honestly just a new adventure and just a new opportunity to really get to know her and understand what her likes and dislikes are and you want to go get dry now or cold wet okay yes let's go get dry we'll go get cozy she is just so gosh darn amazing and makes me want to have like 10 more kids we're not there yet but i just love that girl so much I need you guys to do me a favor. The next time you're in Home Depot and you see tongue and groove, or if you see pre-made flooring, just what, basically what all you guys have in your house, give it a kiss, or at least a little friendly pat, because this is so much work. I would say each board is probably about an hour. First you have to plane the top, then we have to take it when we have to put the tongue on there. And now we have to do it once, but we have to do it twice. And then we gotta go to the other side and do the groove. And again, we have to do that twice. Then we gotta sand the top with 80 grit paper to get it nice and smooth. Then sand down the edges to round them off so we don't get any splinters from dancing in the workshop or Sadie sliding around. And then paint the top with sanding sealer, paint the bottom with sanding sealer, and then flip it back over again, sand it, and paint the top again. And that's one piece. We have to do 70 of these. I don't know what I got myself into, but down here, you can only get tile or you can only get plastic flooring. So this is just what we gotta do. This is how we get our frustration out these days. Especially having your house in shambles. It's pretty frustrating. But I know we were like, oh yeah, 24 hours. It's been like three days. And at least we get to smash pieces of wood in between. started earlier today. I feel like I'm getting started earlier and earlier to fight off this rain. And the best thing about getting up at 6 a.m. is you get the best view of the volcano. Sadie and Kaylee are going down to David. Sadie actually needs to renew her residency for here in Panama. So while they're out of the house, I'm gonna do some painting. So to I try and reduce all the fumes with her in here, which means I'm gonna paint the kitchen, which is gonna be a pain in the butt because I have to take this whole kitchen apart. Look, I got a new card. Wow, baby, it looks so beautiful. You Is that your ID? You can hold it when we when keep this thing, okay? And where are we going to use that card? At the airport. And at the airport? Yes. Who's on this card? See, big girl Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> Big girl Sadie. Man, I'm honestly so relieved that we got Sadie's card just in time because we're actually leaving Panama in a few days. It's almost 12 though, so Karen's gonna be leaving in about a half hour. I got two coats done in the kitchen area. I think I'm gonna need to do one more coat. And to be honest, we didn't even end up doing a primer in the kitchen area just because we're on kind of a time crunch right now. We're just trying to whip through this. Wow, what a gift we are getting today. It is so beautiful out. It's been sunny all day. We got the breeze going. The wind turbine's ripping. And it's only one o'clock. I don't think we're gonna get any rain. I think we're gonna be able to make so much progress. I gotta be quiet, cause Sadie's sleeping, but all of these walls, we're gonna be doing board and batten. And we already got the board down. Now we need to start working on the batten. So now I'm gonna start painting the bottom trim and I'm gonna actually, we're actually gonna be using a one by six for this. Why we're using a one by six is cause this is what Kaylee wanted. Uh, she wanted fat uh, trim on the bottom and up on the top. And uh, you know what they say about having a happy wife or whatever. 
Some of this batten we're gonna have to cut to two inches wide. We were thinking about going with four inches wide, but Kaylee wanted as thin as possible, and I think two is about as thin as we can go. As good as the day has been, it is now 3.30 and it looks like the rain is coming in. So I'm setting myself up over here underneath our patio. Whew. Let's try to get as much done as possible and go as late as I possibly can. Fat trim pieces up top, thin trim pieces going vertically. Just what the queen asked for. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> I can't tell you guys how maddening it is living in a construction zone. We've done this for so long. And then we had a few years, you know, of living in a shack, which was a big upgrade for us. And now we're back to living in a construction zone where all of our stuff is just everywhere. So right now we're desperately just trying to finish up the kitchen so we can get the shelves back up and get all of our kitchen stuff that's just here on the floor. Just get all of this back up on the wall. And also so we can have a kitchen to cook some food for dinner tonight. We have our work cut out for us, and there's just so much to do. Uh, I'd be lying to you guys if I told you I wasn't feeling overwhelmed. This isn't uh, overblown. This isn't us just making stuff up. We're living in a 150 square foot shack that's totally disheveled right now, and we have so much to do to put our lives back together, and we're not gonna be in Panama for much longer. We're actually even in four days. And I thought we were gonna be able to get all this done in just a few days and clearly we've bitten off way more than we can chew. So over these next few days, we're gonna be in scramble mode, trying to get our lives put back together before we leave. And I think we might have made a bit of a mistake. We're gonna be hustling, but see if we can get this all done in the next one. So we'll see you guys next time.